Daz. Um, something different on the bench today. I've built a few radio kits and this one's a little bit different. This one uses a Raspberry Pi. So uh, you can see what mess I made of this. <sighs> Bought another kit, haven't I? Another radio kit, but <laughs> I think it's a bit different this time. Let's turn it up the right way. It's a Pi based radio kit. Um, so it is wireless really because it uses Wi-Fi, but I just bought this um, A colleague has bought one as well, so we'll see how he gets on. He's also one of my YouTube viewers as well <laughs> But uh, so this is going to be part computer part assembly. I think there is some solder in here, so So what have I got in the magic box? Well, there's a, a DAC an amplifier the Raspberry Pi itself, it's an assortment of leads, USB and possibly video I guess. There's an adapter here for HDMI. Um, here's the 3D parts, some nuts and bolts which could be nylon. Let's come out a bit, that's better. Now we can see a bit better what we've got. Um, some spacers, a header, ah. more 3D bits, <laughs> That's a fair size loudspeaker, more 3D bits falling out. Oh, there we go. And some stickers. Well, I don't see any instructions, so I guess you've got to go somewhere and download those, um, I would guess. But uh, right, okay, so uh, that's the parts. Well, I've been busy printing a few instructions and things out. So that goes in there, goes in there, that bit goes in there. And that goes in there, and now I've got to bolt it together. So, uh, come on Darren, you should better do this. <laughs> right, so that goes on top of there, that goes on top of there. Yeah, that looks okay. I suppose the speaker goes here. And then you pop the bolts through the front, like so. Oh, right, okay. Reminded self to remove uh, the uh, protective plastic first. <laughs> so there is a little bit of soldering to do, just the header so it interfaces with the uh, Pi. Um, there's some buttons here. On this board, the notice there's a mono stereo switch. Speaker outputs. Set of LEDs, so that looks quite fun. So looking at the picture I'm looking at, it'll probably be that way. So I just need to solder that on. Well, I've just soldered the uh, header on to the fat beat board. Um, it is ever so small for what it does. It's, it's you know it's a DAC and a a, a VU meter. Um, so uh, I think it's three watts per channel when I checked. So uh, anyway, that goes on here with the two and a half mil uh, nylon nuts, and there's four little spacers here to space it up. So there we go. That just goes on there. So that's quite good. Um, I suppose the next thing to uh, work on will be the uh, the Raspberry Pi itself. It's a neat little thing, apparently that's a one gig processor and there's half a gig of um, gigabyte of memory on here. Oh there we are, power in, that one, it's power in, it's USB, that one will be the uh, micro HDMI, I suppose that's the SD card slot. There's some other little markings here, but yeah it's quite a nice thing that. Raspberry Pi Zero W, so that means with Wi-Fi, I guess. But yeah, that is a nice thing. 
zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. Oop, too far. Too far, Daz. Yeah, very nice little board that. I had one of the original Raspberry Pis, which I still got, but I never really used it very much, which is a great shame. Well, I guess that's it. I've soldered the header onto the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero and uh, attached the speaker. So that's what it looks like. So the next thing is just to figure out the software. I've got some software download, so get the laptop out or whatever, and uh, I've got a, a memory card to use with it. So uh, that'll be the next step, I guess. Well, I've got myself an SD card, micro SD card, and an adapter, so I'm going to follow the instructions. I've got my trusty old laptop. It's nine years old, but, or eight years old, but it works fairly well. It's an i3, so I guess that's why, and it's an ex-corporate one. Oh, there you go. So the disc's gone in. Uh, did a ding Hopefully it'll appear. So, is it down here somewhere? Secure digital disc. There we go. Oh, it's opened up in another one. So, uh, I'm just going to open it up in this one. Come on. It hasn't been turned on for a while, so it's a bit slow. Oh, it says the folder's empty, so it says to extract. Um, there's a zip file here, it just says to extract it to the um, drive, so no um, ISOs or anything it seems, so <laughs> i just tell it to extract it. Extract all and then tell it to stick it on the disk, I guess. Browse. Just tell it to stick it on there. Select folder. Yeah, extract it on there. Right, so I'll do that and uh, we'll see if uh, that does the job. Whoops. <laughs> That's it, break me laptop. Right, well I found a 2 amp um, USB supply, so that's good. It says here to edit the WPA supplicant configure with your Wi-Fi network. Pop it into your Pi Zero W and connect the power supply and that's it. So that sounds good to me. So I shall get on with setting up the uh, folder with my Wi-Fi password and uh, get it into the radio. So I've opened it up in Notepad. Um, there's your yeah, PSK SSID. I assume you put them in the brackets. I think I know about computers, but often I don't. <laughs> so, right, okay, get on with that. Well, I've plugged it in and nothing seems to be happening at the moment. Um, maybe it's this power switch here. Do I need to press that? Mm. Nope. Nope, nothing seems to be happening. I was expecting some lights or something on the board, so what have I done wrong? I suppose the obvious thing is I'll be getting some juice. 5.2, um, I think that's 1.8 there. Yep. And I think up there is 3.3. Yep, so I'm getting juice. So that's a good start. Okay. Why don't I attach a monitor? Well, the answer to that question is not a lot. <laughs> Just spotted something that might be the problem. I've just noticed that when I extracted it to the the disk, it's in a folder. Idiot, idiot. Right. Take two. Oh, yes, something's happening. Ta da! Yes, stupid idiot. I should have spotted that. I I can't believe that I missed the fact that it was in a root menu. And uh, it's, oh, look at that. Oh, well, that's uh, even better. It's actually started uh, playing some music. So how about that? That's brilliant news. So, uh, and also again. our very own uh, 648 uh, kilohertz transmitter there from Orford Ness in Suffolk. It is Radio Caroline. 
You're listening to Bear Radio. I had a little fiddle with the playlist, so now I can play some YouTube music. I've just got to work out the root of the music directory, but uh, anyway, they are playing Neon Storm. You can see I've added the file name there. I was wondering about portable use and, well, 130 milliamp, you know, an average battery pack is going to run that for a few hours, even a small 2 ampere hour one, so, yeah, so it's definitely got a use to uh, run off battery. Uh, I've got another YouTube song, let's try a different one. This one drives me nuts. There you go, let's, let's put it up a bit louder. Yeah, it's not bad to speak, considering it's only got a baffle. I was quite surprised, actually. Uh, yeah, it's going up to about 140 milliamp now. Uh, yeah, not bad still. Yeah, I very much like this kit. I don't know if they're going to still keep doing this kit, because um, when I looked, it was out of stock, and uh, one of the modules was discontinued, but... Uh, yeah, it's a nice thing. I think the only thing it could benefit from was the display as well, perhaps. But I do like the VU meters. Um, and, uh, you know, the design of it's quite nice. Um, admittedly, you have to be a little bit careful, obviously, because it's open at the back. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a nice design. Of course, it's a, um, a UK kit, which is nice. Um, so... Well, I quite enjoyed building this. Um, obviously, I made a few faffs with the software, but uh, you know, I, I don't know why, what, what, how I managed to write to the uh, root with a directory in front of it. But never mind, it would work first time otherwise. But yeah, I think it's a, a nice little thing. Um, obviously, it's a lot different from building a, a super hep or something like that. But uh, you know, it's still Wi-Fi, so it is still wireless, as it were. But anyway, hope you enjoyed watching that. I shall have to have a fiddle, a bit more of a fiddle with the software and playlists when I have time and try and work out how the uh, file format goes. But uh, there we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.